In this video, we are going to create a very long and detailed system message, use it to produce responses from GPT-4, save them to a fine-tuning dataset with a much shorter system message, and then fine-tune a model, look at it converge, and then use that same model with the much shorter system message. Here we are using the fine-tune model, and we will get responses to anything that we input based on the JSON schema that we have specified, but with a much shorter system message because the fine-tuned model understands the uh, structure. This is the response we got, which is an explanation of entire calculus in a very short and concise way. It can do that because it has learned from the examples we have given. Plus, we are saving a bunch of tokens from this system message because we have shrunk it down to only uh, three lines. This system also allows you to modify the GPT-4 responses when it's written to file because this is where we read and store the data set JSON L file from. So let's just get started. All the code files for this will be available at my Patreon. Link will be in the description. So what we want to create is a system message for a teacher, which will actually summarize and explain based on a given input. So we can give it large amounts of text or just simply ask it for a topic. It will break it down into its core and essential parts. Then it'll explain and describe each part. And then this is the schema we're going with. It'll actually create a title and then create ideas and details about those ideas. So you can actually give it large amounts of information or just simply very little information, it will generate this uh, schema. Nevertheless, reach a conclusion, add additional notes and references if available. Don't keep in mind, we are not doing an internet search. This is directly from GPT-4. I'll go ahead and delete the responses so we can actually see it in uh, real time working. So all we have to do is run the fine-tuned dataset generator.py to create our first data point for the fine-tuning dataset. Let's ask it to a single idea description of infinite series in math. And it's going to go ahead and explain that. And then after it finishes, it's going to write the responses in response to the uh, to a file under responses folder. As you can see, we asked for a single idea and it only generated a single idea. Although in its system message, we gave an example for two ideas, but because we sent additional main ideas as needed. Anyway, now that we are done, this response is written into a JSON file. Now here we can actually go over it if you want to manipulate it, since this is going to be in our fine tuning data set, you can actually modify this part and make it perfect to your liking. After that, we can actually restart this row and start re uh, try it again, or we can do dash dash save. And when we do that, it gets automatically added uh, as an appended to our data set dot JSON L file. I'll actually go ahead and delete this as well and restart the entire process. Maybe this time with a longer file so we can see. We can see it from scratch here. I'm going to copy this fundamental uh, concepts about cal calculus. And we are starting from scratch. And since this can take multi-line input, we'll have to press enter four times to indicate that we're done. I'm going to go ahead and paste this long description here. And then after that, press enter four times. And it will uh, create the explainer in this structure that we have specified. Once it is written, it's going to be written under responses after which we can actually uh, modify, like I said, to make it perfect. And we had 10 concepts and it seems like it's generating an idea for each with a detailed description of it. So now that we're done, response is written to our file. I can go ahead and modify it, make sure that it suits my purposes. I can change any one of these things, these references or anything else. And if I am satisfied with it, I can do dash dash save. And it's going to create a data set.json.l file and it has inputted our first input. To fine tune a model with GPT 3.5, you need at least 10 items. So I'll go ahead and create those. Actually, I do have one that I had created earlier. We'll go ahead and use that. Uh, it is this one here and it has 10 items that I have generated with multiple different uh, uh, input and response pairs. I have actually, uh, it is, it is. It is advisable that you cover as many varieties of situations. So I gave it long text, short text, and I asked it to you know produce only one idea or multiple ideas. So we'll have a varied amount of examples. So now that we have our data set, we can go ahead and start a fine tune directly from the user interface. But before we do that, if you're enjoying my content, you can visit my website at echohive.live and find all the videos along with their description and code download links for patrons. For example, if you're browsing and see that you like Ultimate GPT Researcher, you can watch the video or click on code download link. And if you're a patron, you'll be able to download the code right underneath the post. When you become a patron, you will have access to over 200 interesting projects that I have created over the year and a half, and will be able to quickly download and experiment or modify them for your own purposes. And if you do become a patron, just know that I appreciate your support very much.
Okay, so now that we have our data set, let's go uh, to the fine tuning tab right here on the left and then click on create. We want to create a uh, fine tune from GPT 3.5 to 1106. After that, all we have to do is upload our data set file and then upload and select and you, uh, it will be verified. And then all you have to do is just click on create and our new, new fine tune will be initiated after validating files. And if there is no issues with the file, uh, then our fine tune should start training. Okay, our fine tune has just started and uh, OpenAI automatically decides on the epochs. It picked 10 epochs and we can see the messages that fine tune job started. We can click on metrics and when available, we'll be able to see uh, step by step, well, every 10 steps, I believe. And then we'll also be able to see its graph. And as our model trains, we'll be able to see the training loss uh, every 10 steps. And this plot is showing the training loss as the model is being converged. And the model name is set to GPT 3.5 Turbo. This is the base model, but once the fine tuning starts, stops finishing, it will switch to the name of the fine tune model, as you see here. And when the fine tuning is done, you can go to your playground and actually we'll be able to find your fine tunes here. The latest one will be at the bottom and you can select it and use it in the uh, playground or make a call to your new fine tune model from our script using the fine tune.py file. You just have to specify the model name. And this script uses uh, the OpenAI Unified GPT Calls class that I've created. It's just simply just managing simple basic API calls and some methods such as managing history. If you want to know more about it, watch this OpenAI, OpenAI Unified API video where I go into depth uh, for it. But uh, this will be available at Patreon along with this file as well. Okay, our fine tuning has succeeded with the final loss of 0.03. Uh, we can go ahead and actually copy this and replace the model name with the model that we have just fine-tuned. And as you see, the system message is very short. We don't give it any kind of indication of what type of output, output we are looking for. But when we run this, and let's ask it the explanation of the book, beginning of infinity. And this takes multi-line input too, so you do have to press uh, four times. And as you can see, it's generating, and it's very fast. After it's done, the fine-tuned response is written here. And we can see that uh, it has explained the book Beginning of Infinity by David Deutsch into uh, a four idea explainer, along with conclusion, additional notes and references. Important thing to note is that we are saving a lot of tokens, approximately 250 of them, by uh, just fine tuning. And then uh, after you fine tuned it, you can actually use this model to fine tune on top of it or create a new fine tune. You can create a data set that is very larger than 10 depending on your use case, but this works very well. Now let's take a look at the code to see how we, where we can build something like this. All the code files will be available at Patreon. Link will be in the description. We start by defining a system message. You're a meticulous teacher. You teach by breaking down a given text into its core and essential parts. And then you explain and describe each part in detail in a very simple and understandable manner so in, anyone can understand. You always do this by returning a JSON object. We are using JSON mode. So you do have to mention JSON in the system message, which adheres to the following format. And then we define the format, title, purpose, main ideas. So this is just a, a description to GPT. As you can see, it's quite long. And then we have another system message, which is going to be our fine-tuned system message. It's the exact same thing, except we don't give the example. And then we initiate a GPT teacher with the GPT calls in JSON mode true. This is the class from the OpenAI Unified. And then we add the system message, the originals, the long system message to it, because we're going to get uh, responses from GPT-4. We have a function to take in multi-line input. Uh, and this breaks after you enter four of, uh, enters of the key press from your keyboard. The reason for this is so we can enter long text to it. And then we have a function just to read the JSON file, because we're going to be reading the response from the JSON file before writing it to our data, data set. Because uh, once we get a GPT-4 response, you may want to review it, make some corrections. And after that, uh, we read this and then write it to the JSON L file, which is going to be our final data set. We create a responses folder if it doesn't exist. We start an enumeration process so we can write the files enumerated in a nice way. And then we enter an infinite loop, take in multi-line input. After that, we simply use the chat method of the uh, GPT call class. She's going to add that message to our message history and get a response. This is just a regular call to OpenAI. And then we are going to write it under responses folder in the appropriate file name, just as we've done here. And then we initialize a user message object uh, variable to none. 
And then uh, we all, at this point, all we want is whether to know from the user whether they want to save this or restart this uh, iteration. That's why we are taking user input for please uh, press enter to continue. Well, actually, we should. Yeah, that that was that was a mistake on my part. Anyway, please uh, please type dash dash s to save the data or dash dash r to restart this row. You may want to try it one more time, right? And then if it is dash dash r, we continue. We go back to the loop and uh, we start and we will overwrite the same number because we haven't increased it yet. But if it is dash dash save, then we're going to read that file, which is in this case uh, the file that we are currently working on, JSON object, the example. And then we convert it to a string and then we create our json l object as a messages list with the system message being the fine-tuned system message which is the much shorter one that we are going to use to fine-tune not the long one but the uh, long example and a user message which whichever which is whatever the user has entered and the response string from the file and then we just simply going to append it that's it and increment the file number so this will uh, incrementally create our json l file you can have as many examples as you like but minimum is 10. And after fine tuning, I have the using fine tune.py file, which again use, initializes GPT calls with JSON mod true, of course. And then we now use the fine tune model name. We said this makes history worse to zero, uh, thinking that we probably don't want to keep history, but you can actually change this if you like. And then we add the system message, which is the shorter one. And then we have the same multi read multi line input. And after that, we just take in user input and then uh, just send it to GPT. And now we are going to write it to fine tune response. Uh, yeah, fine tune response.json file. Let's run this again. For example, we can't really ask anything. Uh, tell me about GPUs, for example, and that four enters. So it can be this can be very long or very short. So you can actually expand on short topics or actually reduce long uh, text into a shorter form. As you can see, it's following our guidelines without a specific explicit system message being said. And it's explaining the GP2 in three ideas, four actually, and then it writes a conclusion. But we can also say explain GPUs in a single idea. Let's say if it will follow our ten uh, fine tuning with ten examples is not perfect, but let's see if it's, this is going to work. If it will uh, follow our instructions, so we are asking it to explain it in a single idea. It has written the response, and uh, here we have the main idea and then add four details to it so uh, with 10 examples it will it should follow your instructions original instructions original json schema to a great extent maybe 90 95 percent but if you wanted it to follow it better just give it more examples you can use this as a starting point train a simple model with 10 examples and then let it generate the output and then you know modify it and then reuse it and then retrain it so because you can actually initiate training on top of the model that has been fine-tuned just keep that in mind i hope you enjoyed this video i'd like to talk about some of the apps i built uh, over the next few months auto streamer is my most successful app and i really enjoy it it allows you to auto create content which you can record or do live stream you can watch the live stream that i've done on youtube explaining it and showcasing it and it actually builds a course website uh, which is deployable as it is actually live streaming and here's a sample website we have built which teaches python iterators and generators and uh, you can actually visit this website and learn python yourself or download the auto streamer and generate it yourself it's a, it, once it's done creating the website it's fully deployable another one of my projects i'm uh, proud of is the code hive this includes 900 plus gpt powered chat apps of all sorts uh, these are all free you can go here browse or search and once you find something that you like you can get the code and run it get some ideas maybe both as an inspiration or as a business idea or just experiment with it if you do like all the if you if you do like what you see and want to download all the code files you can actually download it from my patreon for hundred dollars again thank you for watching let me know what you think if you like talking about large language models join our discord server and i'll see you in the next video